Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. So in the last video we talked about work sharing, one of the ways of collaboration using Revit and BIM 360 design. In this video I want to talk about live linking. So in this case you're working with people on the same team as you, but you don't really want them to be able to edit your model, you just want them to be able to link to it and you want them to be able to link to the live model, the one that's being saved in Revit, so that you're always getting the latest up-to-date changes. Different than linking to the published model, okay? Linking to the live model means every time somebody syncs with Central in Revit, you're gonna get those latest changes with the file that you're linking in. All right, so I'm in Revit, I'm in the mechanical model, and I wanna live link to the live Revit model, okay? So how do I do that? Just like you would link any other file, you'll start on the Insert tab and click Link Revit. But instead of browsing to a location on your server, you're gonna click this External Resources icon. And that'll take you into BIM 360, into your project. You can go and locate your project. In this case, it's gonna be under Project Files, Teams, and there's Epic Architects. And I can select the architectural model right there and click Open. And that's going to link it in just like any other file, except this is the version that resides in the cloud that is being worked on as a function of Revit cloud work sharing. Now, once this is done loading, I'm going to show you what not to do. If you don't know about that external resources icon, you might be tempted to do something like this. Link Revit. And if you've got Desktop Connector installed, you'll be able to go My Computer, BIM 360, and drill right down into the project. In fact, I'll go ahead and take you through it. BIM 360, Epic Architects, My Project, Office Building, Project Files, there's my Teams folder. It looks just like what I did before, right? But the difference is this file is the published version. We're looking at Desktop Connector, which is a reflection of BIM 360. This is the published version of the architectural file, which we learned in previous videos may not be up to date with the latest changes in Revit. So if you want to link to the file that contains the latest changes in Revit, you have to make sure you use this external resources icon right here. That'll take you to the Revit Cloud Work Shared model. All right, so that's how you do live linking using files that have been initiated into cloud work sharing through BIM 360. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Be sure to keep checking back for more tutorials, tips, and tricks, all having to do with BIM 360.